Who are the best math students? Sometimes we think the best math students are the ones that sit in front of the classroom, raise their hand, give the teacher gifts, or always kind of have that camaraderie with the teacher every single day. But to really answer the question of the best, we need to kind of define what does it mean to be the best math student? Is it the teacher's favorite? Is the one that scores the highest? I think it's important to define what I mean by best. And in that regard, I would say the ones that I was able to make an impact on and they were able to do something with it. It might not have always been the best grade, but they were able to, over the course of the year, improve as well as excel in my class. It might be a little hard to understand, but really these are the things that separated the best students from all the others. I think there's no better definition of success is people that continue to try. They don't let failure or struggles get the best of them. My best math students always were willing to try. There's always going to be frustration. There's always going to be struggles. You're going to be taking a test. You're not going to understand something, you know, during a lecture, but you continuously keep on trying to learn the information. You're showing up before school. You're going up after school. Even if you fail a test, you come back and you continue trying. You take a test and you're not a hundred percent sure if you fully understand the information, but you keep on working through the problem. It's not easy. It's very easy to say, well, just try, just keep on trying. But it is one of the biggest determining factors I can say from those students that are successful and I consider the best students from ones that are just average or that fall behind. Continue to try. Just keep on making little, little steps of improvement. And you will see throughout the course of the year, you are going to improve. You are going to start seeing success. Just keep on trying. Don't let failures or frustrations get the most of you. Now, the next one's probably the most obvious. So one thing that I respond to students the most when they say, how can I get better at a certain math class? I say, ask, just ask questions. But it really is not just as simple as like raising your hand and asking questions because, you know, I was that student as well. I didn't want to ask questions during class. But I think the main important thing is being curious about how to become a better student, how to understand the material better. If you are curious about that, your brain is going to continuously be looking for solutions to be able to help you understand the information. So it's not just about, hey, I didn't understand this in class, raise your hand, interrupt the instruction. But it is about like maybe coming in before school, coming in after school, maybe finding your own ways to get help, maybe with some friends or an online instructor, whatever may be the case but always trying to ask questions when you don't understand. Get the needed context that you need. And it's okay if things are not coming together immediately for you. Understanding mathematics takes time, but if you are willing to continuously be asking the questions to better understand, you will start seeing success. You will start seeing improvement in your understanding. And what's also more important about that is not just asking questions when you don't understand, but becoming curious and asking questions of how can I improve in this class? How can I become a better student? How can I get a better grade? Every single teacher and every single course is going to be a little bit different. So it's important to be curious and to ask, what can I do to get the most out of this class? Those are the best students that always seem to float to the top at the end of the year. And the last thing, it's really, really simple. Actually, everything is really, really simple. It comes into putting it into practice. And that is to do. You just have to implement, right? We can watch YouTube videos or we can go online and search any blog and try to understand how can I be successful in math or how can I become the best student that I need to be. But it's simple, guys. All the answers are in front of us. We all know them deep inside. We just need to implement. The best students do. They take action. And one of my favorite things that I always tell students at the beginning of the year or any student that was failing my class, it didn't matter if it was Algebra 1, Pre-Calculus, Calculus, Algebra 2, Geometry, all the courses that I've taught, I would always say the exact same thing, especially when students like Ms. McLogan, I really worry that I'm going to struggle this year. I would say, listen, if you do everything that I ask you to do, it's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be fast. And there is a lot of support from me within the school and out there online that can help you. But if you do everything that I am asking you to do, you know, doing your homework, doing quiz corrections, doing test for corrections, doing everything that I'm asking you to do, you will not fail my class. I have never had a student do everything that I've asked them to do and failed my class. Now you might get by with a D and again, every student is going to be different, but very, very few students still scraped by with a D doing every single thing I did. Actually, I can only think I can remember a student that did everything I asked them to do and still got a D. So the most important thing is do every single day, 
make some steps going forward. You will see the completed effort through time. To paraphrase a famous quote by Robert Collier, success is the repeated habits over time. You're not always going to be successful or you're always gonna get the best grade immediately, but keep on putting in the work. Keep on putting in the practice and you will start to see the fruits of all of that effort. Listen, learning math does not have to be rocket science. I hope you can apply these tips from this video into your own journey and let me know down below how they have worked out for you.